Hi everyone, I'm Michael Gordon. Well, as I record this on Thursday, we're getting a lot of questions about today's government announcement about the reopening of the border and the, the phasing out of MIQ and self-isolation requirements. Now, firstly, I'll say from our point of view, the timing is not materially different to what we'd assumed in our forecasts. The big unknown is still going to be around people's willingness to travel, which is obviously something separate from the border decision itself. In terms of tourism, uh, our view is that globally, short-haul travel is going to pick up much sooner than long-haul travel. So what that means for New Zealand is trans-Tasman travel first, the rest of the world coming somewhat slower. So it may be several years before we see something like pre-COVID visitor numbers. That said, even going from nothing to something would make a material difference in terms of the growth outlook for the economy as a whole this year. When it comes to migration, we're likely to see some pent-up flows both in and out of the country, and it's not clear where the balance will lie there, at least in the short term. Uh, bringing migrant workers back will certainly help to alleviate skill shortages in some areas, but the high demand for workers that we're seeing is an economy-wide thing, regardless of whether migrants were a big factor in the first place. So that brings us to the big data release of this week, the labour market surveys for the December quarter. The unemployment rate has fallen to another low of 3.2%. Employers have continued to scramble for workers even through the COVID restrictions we've had in recent months. Now, you'd think that workers are in a strong position in term when it comes to pay negotiations, and wage growth has certainly been picking up, but not as much as we would have expected in these conditions. It's certainly coming through with big pay rises in some pockets, but it's not a widespread thing. So that aside, it's still a picture of an economy that is running hot. The Reserve Bank will need to keep raising interest rates to cool things down. But it's no bigger a problem now than they expected it to be three months ago, and arguably even a little less. So our view remains that they can continue to raise rates in measured steps with moves of 25 basis points at each meeting. Talk to you next week.